Mirror. All the pretty girls walk like this, 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 this. Pretty girls walk. For the record, I am just kidding. But when it comes to walking, I want you to feel with a prosthetic that you can still have a more natural, uncomfortable walk. When you start with a prosthetist or the physio, you will tend to walk with parallel bars, so you have bars on either side and you walk down. And one of the top tips I got was that you roll with your hip. We will get back to that. Okay, so when you walk, you tend to have this is ground, your foot goes heel first, then toes and walk up. And it will keep going like that as you walk. And it gives into cycles, so one leg goes, the other leg goes. Basics. For me personally, I don't have codes, so I can't do that rock up motion, so I have a curve on the bottom of my sole to help with that movement. As you learn to walk again, you might have the parallel bars, then you may use a frame and then stick some crutches, and you may need a press onto not necessarily needing these things. You may also need orthopedic shoes like I do, because getting that natural walk and having like such a tender area on where the toes used to be, it can bleed. So take these tips with a bit of caution and always refer to what your prosthesis has to say. What do I mean when I say you've got to roll with the hip? So as you walk, you know, heel first, and you rock, and as you're stepping over with the toes, your hip comes over as you step up. So it basically goes walk up. Once you get the basics down, then you can progress on to things like posture. What do we mean with posture? We mean getting that more comfortable walk going again. So I tend to think of Tai Chi, where you think of a string coming through the middle and up through. So you lift up with your ribs, you lift up with your head, which gives a more com confident look and feel when you're walking. It also stretches the pack out so your vertebrae aren't like crushing down against each other. That helps make you more comfortable. You can roll your shoulders back and pull them together a little bit, like your shoulder blades, and this can help free up your chest and to make you more open and more confident. And it is going to sound a little bit, maybe a bit silly, but I tend to think as I'm walking that this is my catwalk and I'm trying to be self aware the whole time, and that helps me realise so I tuck my tailbone on, just stretch up, and this helps give me the alignment so I'm not compensating in some way. And I don't want to walk stiff legged. So go back to the basics. We want to rock and walk. We don't want to walk with straight legs, as that you then tend to wobble, and it's not as natural. But again, it depends on whether you can or not. As you progress, basics first, then move on to posture and get that sassy walk again. 